Hey brother, Stuart Matola, Men's Relationship Coach here. I hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna to talk to you in this video about the hidden opportunity in a sexless or sex-challenged marriage. And uh, I was thinking long and hard about this because I spent 20 years in a marriage where many were pretty scant and dry when it came to physical intimacy. And I was thinking about what I did in those times. And so if you're in a sexually challenged marriage you want to check this out because i'm going to give you a tip here that i think will help you out and just change your perspective because like i've said in other videos on this topic the hell of a sexless marriage isn't so much the sexlessness of it but it's the feeling that you can't do anything about it okay so when you think about where sex has disappeared in your marriage has that happened over time just sudden well chances are it's over time and things just slowly dried up between your wife and you and there's a way in which other things took priorities like the kids work the house and the functionality just took over and the fire got dimmed okay. and in that space uh, there's often a diminished trust that evolves as if you're missing each other, like passing ships in the night. And like, wait a minute, we got this family, we got these kids, we got this home. Where are we in all of this? So you lost focus on each other. And chances are you or your partner uh, made bids for connection. And maybe she made bids for connection that you didn't even pick up on, such as a simple, you know, uh, asking for help around the home or asking for you to listen to her uh, challenge she's going through um, or maybe she even tried to reach out for your hand a few times and you pulled away or it's possible you're on the other side of that where you were the one trying to make bids for connection and you pulled away but most of the guys who I'm talking to are guys who have been trying to make bids for connection and their wife has not been willing to receive that she turns her face she makes a you know kind of a, a guffaw or a sigh like hmm. she rolls her eyes oh here he goes again or oh he wants sex now uh, and that can be really painful brother okay but underneath that if you really want to create a sexually fulfilling marriage is an opportunity it's an opportunity to dig your heels in look at yourself Look at how you can be more attuned to her. How can you cherish and adore her? And how can you notice where maybe she's treating you in a way where you gotta set some boundaries, some healthy boundaries, some kind boundaries, okay? So whichever side of the equation that you're on, there is an opportunity here to really dig your feet in and try to rebuild the trust that's been lost because at the end of the day, most women shut down when they don't feel emotionally connected to their men. And if she doesn't feel emotionally connected to you, uh, she's not gonna wanna have sex with you. So are you willing to consider the hidden opportunity in rebuilding the emotional connection with your wife? Okay. And the opportunity in that is to create an awesome foundation in your marriage for your family because at the end of the day, the family is only as strong as the marriage. And that's something we often neglect when we tune out from our partner and we just tune into the kids or we tune into our phones or any ways that we can cope from the painful reality to avoid the painful reality of what's going on in a marriage when it's you know, intimacy challenged. So what's the opportunity for you here? And you know, just to be straight up, this is just a hypothetical if you're not willing to actually put some work into it, be held accountable by a coach such as myself or a a band of brothers who are going to willing who are willing to help you look at how you're showing up each week because at the end of the day you're not going to know if your marriage has the potential to be sexually fulfilling until you put the work in until you see how you're stepping up your game to meet her in the emotional realm to see where she will reciprocate okay so there's a bigger game here and a lot of guys don't want to play that bigger game they just want sex and you know it's just what they want they're not willing to do the deeper work but when you are willing to do the deeper work there is a massive opportunity here to up level your marriage and create the fulfillment and the passion that you seek so 
Hope this was helpful, brother. Thanks so much for watching and have a kick-ass day. Bye.